What's going on guys? Have a nice unboxing for you today. Got my gift a little early. It's a PS5 with uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. So let's open it. Just gonna go over here to the light. Okay, so we have here Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's the Ultimate Launch Edition. So it comes with uh, the Spider-Man Remastered version, and you're gonna get, let's see here, you're gonna get the track suit, uh, Into the Spider-Verse suit, three extra skill points, Gravity Well gadget, and that's about it. So that's pretty cool. This is the back of the case. And those are going to be the bonuses you're going to get. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Been waiting a long time for this. So I ordered from Walmart. Um, everything's a little crazy because of like the shipping and you know COVID nineteen. I'm sure. So I never really got any tracking um, information at all. Pretty much, I just kind of. Luckily, my wife was home. She was on mat leave, and um, it was dropped off. This is it. I'm gonna pop it out. All right, there she is. But yeah, they just, did, they just kind of delivered it, and then I got a notification like a few hours later saying, "Oh yeah, your PS5 has been delivered." But it's okay, like I said, luckily she was home. So if you were expecting it, just you know, make sure someone's home. You don't want this getting left on the doorstep. So these kind of focus in here. So those are the contents right there. You could pause it. This is the back. So you're gonna get the 825 gig SSD. Again, you could pause it if you like. Just that side there. Oh man, I am so pumped up. I like how they have the uh, triangle, square, circle, and X kind of faintly in the back there. Okay, let's pop open this. I know these are going for a lot of money online because you know it's going to be very hard. Oh, that's kind of cool the way it kind of opens up like that. That's neat. Yeah, a lot of people are having you know, trouble, as you all know, finding this thing. So, I do not want to rip this. Very hard to do one handed. So, this is the bad boy here. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna take this out. Okay, it's gonna be your PlayStation 5 quick guide. Some more stuff we're never gonna really read, anyways. Oh, this is the stand. That is the HDMI 2.1 cable ultra high speed or just as high speed but that is your power cable goes in the back and then into the wall and here is the dual sense which I'm really excited to see for the first time but seeing it on videos doesn't do it justice oh wow so it's true it looks like a bright white even on film, um, but it's, yeah, it's true. It's like a gray, very premium. Wow. Feels very premium. You have USB-C there. I like the back of it. Touchpad is definitely bigger. Sticks feel nice. I like the rubber around. It might be the same 
That's your PS button. Let's go ahead and push it. We'll have those lights pop up. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, I like that blue. Yeah, the buttons look nice. I like how it's clear. Yeah, D-pad's got an alright, okay feeling. That's your, I believe, share button. Oh, feels very nice. Nice and sturdy. Let's check the face buttons here. Yeah, feel good. Feel premium. That's your mute switch to mute the microphone. And man, I like the, the triggers feel nice. Excuse my dry hands. It is getting cold outside and I work outside a lot. Use my hands a lot. That's what she said. But yeah, it feels very good. Um, I like the look of this. Let me get my PS4. I also have a PS4 Pro and an Xbox One X. Let's feel the... You can kind of see the difference there. So, PS5 DualSense is definitely bigger. Doesn't look that much bigger on camera, but in person, it's got a good, got such a nice feel. It's got the perfect weight. Yeah, DualShock 4 is a lot lighter, but I love the feeling of this DualSense. It's got a very nice premium feel. I love this controller already. Haven't even used it yet. Can't wait to check the haptics and adaptive trigger. So, okay, that's the controller. Kind of taking long here. Um, and then we just have the console. So I am super excited to see the PS5 itself. So let's bring this bad boy out. It's got... It's been a long time coming. I don't care what anyone says, I think this looks a lot nicer than the uh, Xbox Series X by far. Definitely prefer this design. Let's get some better lighting in here. So, that is it. So, such a clean looking console. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this standing up. That's the way it was mainly meant to, it was designed to mainly sit. There's this side here, nothing on that side. You have your disc drive there, gloss black. I like that though. I'm not gonna be touching that. The inside, you have your Sony uh, logo in there. And all on the inside, it's little X's, Circles, squares, and triangles. You kind of see here. You can kind of see it there. Very cool. And then you have your USB A port here, USB C. And then you have your eject button here. And your power button there. It's kind of hard to see it, but there you go. Uh, obviously the digital console is just gonna have the power button, no reject button. But yeah, the console is nice. I love how you can see the PS logo there. It's black because it's uh that's all cut out in there. So you see the black insert of the uh, top there. Now this thing has got amazing heat sink and cooling. Let's look at the back of it here. Trust me, that did not scratch it. It didn't sound too good, but we're good. This is the back, very clean. It's got a Kensington lock right there. Uh, you have two more USB uh, 3.0 ports. High speed, you have Ethernet, HDMI, for your HDMI 2.1 or 2.0, and then your power connector. I love the design of this. Very nice. Now, I love also with the PS5, um, it's going to have amazing customization. 
Uh, these plates come off with little to no effort. You just gotta kind of push up and they come right off. So you could paint them or put on, you know, they're gonna most likely have uh, different plates you could buy. And I think that's amazing. Um, I have seen mock-ups of like uh, matte black or different colors. Um, so that's gonna be really, really cool. I may even paint these myself, uh, like a nice matte black. So we'll see if I can find some good quality paint. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna get this set up. Um, and I'm gonna hook it up. I have a LG 55 inch C9 OLED right there, so it's gonna look fantastic. And yeah, I'll get this cleaned up, we'll get the PS5 set up, and I'll be back in another video. So maybe we'll put the stand on really quick, one last, or we'll take it out anyways. The stand's pretty cool. Oh. So that's the stand. Uh, I understand if you kind of turn this. Okay guys, so to open this stand, you just kind of hold this piece and you're gonna turn it, so. That's kind of cool. So you just turn that, the screw's hidden away in there, and so if you wanna have it vertically, you can take it out. Or if you sit it horizontally, you can kind of just lock it in and you always have to screw on with, uh, or you'll, you'll always have to screw with the system stand so that's pretty neat so let's get this installed okay so the stand is pretty cool so you're gonna want to basically turn it um, so it faces this way the console is gonna sit and gonna rest up there this is gonna go down it's gonna keep it secured so you're gonna take your PS5 you're just gonna put it on the stand and you're gonna bring it all the way back and it's gonna fit just like that so it just kind of slides right into that little aspect there and I'm gonna pick it up and just put the uh, screw on it. So, it looks so nice. It's gonna keep it secure when it's standing. And I'm gonna get that in there and I will be back. Okay guys, so I have the PS5 set up. I'm just gonna put it on top of my subwoofer for now. Um, it's nice and secure. It's not, it's right in the middle. It's not on any edges. And <clears throat> It doesn't barely moves. It obviously it'll shake if you really move it, but I mean it's it doesn't wobble. The base really gives it amazing support, so it's gonna be fine there. Then we're gonna tip. Um, we have a six month old, so he's not really walking or crawling yet, so it'll be safer there for now. Eventually, I'll probably have to move it. I just don't want to put it horizontally. Um, I just kind of prefer it in the vertical position. But yeah, so we're all set up there. Looks fantastic. And like I said, really can't wait till they come out with those customizable plates that'll be able to, you know, change the color, um, kind of customize it to match the, you know, entertainment system here. Uh, this is a Ikea TV stand, uh, so it would fit in there. It's got enough room, but I think for now we're going to do that. I am probably going to sell my Xbox One X PS4 at a later date, uh, just to, you know, keep one console. But another nice little touch, I kind of like the five. Oh, that's why they did that design, like the V, so that's pretty nice. 